In today's video, we're going through the top 5 decks in the entirety of Clash Royale right now for January of 2022. These decks are on top now, and by using them, you will give yourself a massive opportunity here, and if you get good with these decks, you can easily climb trophies on ladder. Some of these decks have been here for a while, but some of these are newer in the top 5, so make sure to watch until the end, guys, for the highest win rate deck right now in Clash Royale. Wasting no time, guys. The Giant Double Prince is here, and it is strong. You have the Double Prince to apply a ton of pressure on the ground. Giant, of course, is a cheap but effective tank sometimes. I oftentimes think he's a little bit underrated, actually. The Mega Minion's a great air counter alongside the E-Wiz, awesome defensive card and then can stun things like inferno dragon the miner can tank the zap can reset buildings and the fireball puts in work in this current meta guys the dark prince is splash damage the e was splash damage the fireball splash damage is all so valuable let's get into match number one and show you guys what is up with the giant double prince bait this is a deck i have not used in such a long time but i saw its win rate i saw where it's at right now in the game and it has got to have a spot in the top five we see a fire spirit we're just gonna dark prince this dude it almost takes out the dark prince's shield we see a Dark Prince of his own. He's going to need to go something else here, and the log does come down. Let's go ahead and zap. Boom! Our Dark Prince charges, and that was a beautiful usage there of our zap spell, boys. Are you kidding me right now? That was awesome. We can go ahead and go with an Electro Wizard. Boom! Uh, we do miss the E-Wiz a little bit there, but that zap spell allowed us almost a 1,000 damage. That was incredible. I'm proud of myself, and that is some of the, the nice plays you have to make with Giant's Double Prince, guys. Let's go ahead and relax, though. This is a deck very similar to Pekka Bridge Spam, I would say, right? If you start making good trades, if you get ahead on Elixir, you're just going to succeed and crush. Now, let's go ahead and minor this. We want him to keep spending Elixir, right? He's got a very cheap minor cycle deck. We're 100% going to be able to do this, hopefully. Our miner's only level 10, so we definitely have to keep that in mind. But what we'll do here is we're just going to uh, giant this, honestly. Let's just giant this, guys. I want to see him place a hidden Tesla here, and that is exactly what he will do. Beautiful. Forcing out a ton of elixir that he certainly did not want to spend, and all it took was a 5 elixir giant. Sometimes it is nice to make your opponents play elixir, right? So then they cannot focus as much on defense. This guy does have the rocket. We're going to have to keep that in mind. Let's go ahead literally just zap that guys i'm completely fine with zapping that there but let's go ahead and go to the dark prince in the back we know he's going to the miner now our dark prince should be all good let's go ahead and go to the miner ourselves and he's probably going to dark prince and there it is he does not get any one unit skeletons down or anything our dark prince will move up here and potentially splash onto this man's tower he's forced to royal delivery that's hilarious let's go to the electro wizard here let's go with a prince, once the Electro Wizard stuns this Dark Prince, beautiful. Now our prince can go down with ease, and now our prince is going to be moving up. He doesn't have the Royal Delivery. He's going to need the Skeletons this here, guys. There's the Skeletons. Pretty well played there. The mine is also forced out, and what I think we might do here... Yeah, guys, we're going to be able to break through this. Let's go ahead and go with the Mega Minion. Let's go ahead and go with our Dark Prince, just in case he does go with the Miner. And then we're going to go with the Miner of our own, right in the back. So the Mega Minion's going to be moving up here. Nice, he has to Tesla that. That is awesome for us. Let's go ahead and go with our Fire ball we'll be able to hit that dark prince and the tesla a really valuable fireball right there let's go with the electro wizard here guys let's go with the mega minion his dark prince will get stunned luckily for us the fire spirit is going to get the splash damage onto our tower let's go ahead go with the giant at the bridge though our electro wizard survives our miners going in in the back here we're going to go with the zap spell as soon as possible if he goes with one unit skeleton somewhere um nope the road delivery is going to get a lot of value though and this is certainly not over yet he's got a very quick cycling deck he's got a strong one we're going to need to really be careful here guys let's go ahead see what we can do here let's go with the electro wizard boom beautiful stun there by the electro was it is gonna do a great job here of taking that miner down we can't give up we can't um call it quits here let's go ahead see what we can do guys let's go ahead and go with a mega minion in the back he's going with a whole bunch of stuff our prince is going to charge that is amazing for us let's go ahead and go with the zap spell we take out those skeletons we're gonna fireball he goes with the royal delivery he barely gets the tesla down we land the fireball miners chipping away all we need is a zap and a fireball guys and this one might be over but we have to remember he has the rocket we cannot let him get our tower too low here He's going with the log. We're going to go ahead and go with the miner right there. Will he be able to predict this? Probably not, right? Let's go with the zap spell. We connect, and the miner is taking this thing home for us. All we have to do is fireball, and that's a good game, guys. He had all the defensive answers, but even still, we're able to break through with the giant double prince for deck number one, guys. It's a crazy fun deck to use. If you have a high-level giant, high-level princess, that is how you know you're going to want to be able to use this deck. 
very strong deck. The Double Prince combo, he really wasn't able to deal with. And that initial Zap spell there, accompanying the Dark Prince with the Zap spell at the beginning, got us so much damage, guys. In those times when our Prince connected, because he was so low on Elixir, allowed us to get a massive lead, which is what we needed in that type of matchup. Deck number two is going to be Mega Knight Zap Bait. This deck is crazy because, once again, you can apply so much pressure. Its win percentage is through the roof right now. And the Mega Knight defensively with the Inferno Dragon is absolutely unstoppable, right? You have your Inferno Dragon to take down tanks. Everything in this deck, pretty much, is going to make them want to use a spell, whether it's the fireball, whether it's the zap, whether it's the log, they're going to be using spells like crazy, and you can punish people as soon as they don't have them in cycle. So once cycled, once playing right, you're going to absolutely destroy with this deck. Let's get into match number two. Let's go, boys. We're in this thing here, and a good first play with this deck is to go miner, to go spear grabs, is to go skeleton barrel, because it makes your opponents move, uh, at least do something normally. And right here, he doesn't do anything. Let's go ahead and Inferno Dragon this. We do not have our Mega Knight cycle, and we actually have a really rough matchup here. I'm not going to lie to you. What we will do, though, is we will punish them with the minor bats. Because look at what's about to happen here. We have some split lane pressure. The bats are going to rip apart that right side tower. The Skeleton Barrel and Inferno Dragon are definitely going to need some attention there on the left side as well, right? A really good play there. And now we were able to get a bunch of damage on not, not just one tower, both towers. Taking some hits right there. If he goes with the Hog Rider, we can Mega Knight. But until then, let's just Spear Gobs and let's take out this Musketeer, right? Musketeer would have done a lot of damage if not taken care of correctly there. Um, but instead, she only gets one shot. No big deal. Well, let's go ahead and split up our Goblin Gang here. Um, we can uh, certainly go the Miner once again, which I think we'll do. I think we'll do that, guys. He's going to go with Skeletons probably. Nope, we see a Cannon. I don't know why he would cannon that, I'm not going to lie to you guys, because guess what, now we can Skeleton Barrel, and he's going to need to Fireball, he's going to need to go with something of the sort, is he going to Fireball our Inferno Dragon, that would be interesting, um, what I think, yeah, he does, okay, interesting, interesting, so he's almost taking down our whole tower, this is a really bad matchup, we still could get it done though, it's possible, I wouldn't say it's a good one though, um, we're going to have to try and really press our luck, right, the reason why this is not our matchup is because he's got such a fast cycle, he really can deal with everything we have, and we don't have a direct answer to the Hog Rider, so things are going to get rough, right, things are going to be very very tough here let's go ahead though and go in with this go in with the bats go in with the miner right on the musketeer in order to snipe her down the mega knight hops on that musketeer does the miner finisher he does and the mega knight's on tower guys that's going to be a lot of damage i know it's not probably going to be tower but it could very well be holy smokes the ice spirit saves him and we have a zap spell and we have a miner we basically took the whole tower down there which is exactly what we wanted to do let's go ahead and cycle our spear gubs in the back so we can get our mega knight in cycle to hopefully deal with this hog rider next time it comes out let's go with the goblin gang once again let's get this musketeer oh shoot i did not mean to mega knight that i meant the skeleton rail the bridge that was a bad play right there we're gonna have to put some pressure on now now that we just went in on accident let's go with the miner in the back we at least got to take tower here is he gonna go with stuff i mean the log just came down the mega knight hops it does go down unfortunately though it does the spear goblin miner putting in absolute numbers though let's go with the inferno dragon here let's go ahead and go with the bats in the back he's going to the hog rider here guys he's going in with the hog rider let's go with the goblin gang Let's go with the Spear Gobs. The Fireball value there was actually pretty incredible. Let's go with the Miner. Infernal Dragon almost just took his tower. We're going to have to zap. We save our tower, but no, we don't. We lose. Every once in a while, guys, you're going to have these matchups where there is nothing you can do, and this was one of them, right? We had no direct answers to the Hog Rider. At least normally you can deal with it, but in Hog 26, there's no shot. They're just going to be able to cycle too many Hogs. That is a rough matchup. Even though we couldn't get a win with this deck, we literally just faced one of its worst matchups. So you got to understand that take that with a grain of salt, right? This deck is going to work against so many matchups, just not that one we just faced. Deck number three is going to be this Rascal's Prince bait because this deck is absolutely nuts. The Rascals got buffed, the Dark Goblin got buffed, the Guards got buffed. You see where I'm going here, guys? This deck is absolutely crazy. You have so much bait once again, and the Prince as a tank buster does work out pretty well. Once again, though, you do have no building in this deck. So Hog Riders, they're going to be a little bit more of a nightmare here. If you go against the Hog Rider, you just got to play defensive, you got to play smart, and with the Rocket, you can always use that as a backup win condition in a company with your a Goblin pair. Let's get into match number three. All right, we're in here. We're bouncing back from that previous loss, guys. It was a tough matchup. Now we're in this thing against By Nash. Let's go, dude. Let's go with the Dark Goblin first play. Is he going to be ready for it? Hopefully not. But, dude, the Valkyrie comes down. Let's go with the Prince. What's he got? A Valkyrie. Interesting, interesting. I swear, if we face another Hog Cycle deck, I'm going to be upset. The uh, Magic Archer comes down, guys. We'll be able to kill him real easily because those guards do so much damage. And the Valkyrie Magic Archer is a really interesting combo. Now, he did just log. He just baited. We already baited out the log. He's going to need to go with something here. And the NATO comes out. It's unfortunate, but we should have seen it coming, guys. If you see a Magic Archer, there's a pretty decent chance they have NATO, right? We should have seen that coming, and we should have gone to the Goblin Barrel placement right where this rocket is. We aren't going to obviously rocket that, though. Let's go ahead. 
go with a little bit of this. We're gonna go with the Dark Goblin. We're gonna hopefully kill one of those. Nice, we kill one. That's that's good enough, honestly. That is good enough, and we do get some good damage off with the Dark Goblin. I mean, he really does clutch off there. Unfortunately, obviously, I wasn't really prepared for that, but he, now we know. He's got the Minor Wall Breakers. We can expect to see that once again. Let's go with the Rascals here, and I'm hoping he doesn't fireball this, and I'm hoping he goes with the Magic Archer. I could see him fireballing this, though. Um, come on, Magic Archer me. Magic Archer me. Do it. Do it. Oh, we go with the Prince. I really wanted the prediction that, but it's not going to happen, unfortunately. Um, bottom tower comes down. Prince will get some good value here. Same with the Rascals, guys. Um, since he just wanted the Valkyrie in the back, the Rascals are going to shred. They shred! Let's go with the Goblin Barrel here. He's going to need to log this. Let's go, Rascal Girls. Oh, wow. Look at that damage. They connect. So much value there. Let's go with the Princess. Let's go with the Guards. The Guards are so good. They're going to easily kill those Wall Breakers, guys. And now our Princess will be able to deal with that Miner. We're doing okay here. We're doing okay, right? This is going to be a fun matchup. We don't necessarily have a building for the Wall Breakers, so it makes it a little interesting. Let's go with our Dark Goblin. I want him to Magic Archer, guys. As soon as that Magic Archer comes down, I'll feel a lot better. The Dark Goblin and Princess able to kill the entire Valkyrie, though. That is phenomenal for us. The Bomb Tower comes down, and that is a huge waste. Because guess what? We go with the Rascals at the bridge once the Bomb Tower dies. Let's go, Rascals. Protect that Princess. You're so good. Let's go with the uh, Goblin Barrel out here. He's going to have the NATO or Magic Archer. And the Magic Archer, he chooses to come down. The NATO comes out. It's not a good NATO. The Rascal Girls, the Goblins, they're all on tower. And this is in rocket range, folks. Let's go and go with the Guards. Let's go with the Prince. He's going to go with Minor Wall Breakers. Can we take this down? It's looking good, dude. It's looking real good. Let's go with a rocket. What, what is that, sir? What is that? It's going down easily. Um, we're in a, such a good spot guys. You can see this deck is absolutely crazy. He has no chance. He has no chance Our Prince charges the log comes out. I mean we are absolutely chilling here, man He we are crushing he's using so much elixir and even though he didn't play it the best I mean, I think we could have won this either way. Our deck is so good He's really he he has to log the rascals, but he just straight up can't because of how strong everything else is guys everything is so strong the goblin belt the guards it's all so good the log comes down there and once again i mean we could have gotten a three crown on this guy if we really went crazy but overall we pretty much get the two crown win there and we bounce back strong with deck number three my favorite of the five today of 2022 so far as packet braid spam guys it's got the highest win percentage pretty much out of the decks i've seen and this deck is nuts because with a good player once you get ahead on your lake so there is nothing the opponents are going to be able to do battle ram is not as strong as ram rider obviously but in this deck it actually works it's cheap it can put on a lot of pressure it can kite things all you need is that four elixir and then you can get an entire new push going in the opposite lane right same with the bandit same with the roll goes you can apply so much pressure for so cheap with this deck the magic archer lineups are of course clutch as well fireball zap always good in this deck and then the electro wizard can help things against uh the, your pekka right it can help against those inferno dragons those inferno towers and even any sort of spam it's got that splash damage guys so let's get into match number four let's go man french team cr what you got for us so the bandit's only level 10 for us we do not have the highest level cards so let's go bandit into the bridge we'll see what he's got going on does he go with anything here we could prediction zap but no bandit of his own that's a sloppy play guys that is a sloppy play our royal ghost will be able to move up here kill this bandit and then move on in let's go royal ghost that's beautiful that's beautiful guys let's go with our magic archer in the back i'm wondering if he does have a fireball right that'd be interesting but we see the bandit we see the dark prince this is probably log bait bridge spam dude this is probably it we see the um uh what am i trying to say the fireball let's go battle ram what you got for us does he not okay he is pekka interesting zap and the battle ram almost connects with that elijah's uh, help unfortunately it doesn't um, the tower shreds our E-Wiz, though. This is not... Well, I was thinking it was. I thought it was going to be log bait bridge spam, but we literally see a packet here, so that's not going to be the case. Let's go the P.E.K.K.A. of our own. Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, my goodness. Let's go the bandit in the back. I was going to zap, but we just cannot afford to do it, guys. Our P.E.K.K.A. goes down, pretty much, to that other P.E.K.K.A. because of the Ram Rider's aid. Let's go in, though. Can we do something here with this fireball? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Let's go, fireball. Come on, connect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that's huge. The bandit moves on up into the Dark Prince's shield. Our pack is going on. Boom. Pack of one shots that Dark Prince. That's some good value. We did take a little bit of an L. I didn't realize he would have a Ram Rider, right? So he got that big charge off. We need to save our Electro Wizard for that Ram Rider for sure. Well, let's go ahead and potentially Royal Ghost here. Yeah, he just went with a Bandit and Dark Prince. What else would he have to go with here in order to deal with our Royal Ghost, guys? A Mother Witch comes down. Royal Ghost will get good damage, though. And we know he's got fireball, so we got to be really careful with that. The Electro Wizard coming down. Let's go ahead and go with our Magic Archer here. Does he go with the Battle Ram, guys? Does he do it? I don't think so. I don't think he... Okay, wow. The Ram Rider, I meant to say. And he does do it. This absolute mad lad. Let's go with the band in the back. 
the uh, bandit will charge here. Um, beautiful. Let's go on in. Let's go on in. You know what I'm saying? Let's go on in here. Let's go to the Royal Ghost. The Battle Ram is going to soak up a lot of damage. And the Magic Archer Simage. Oh my goodness, dude. The Magic Archer is crazy. And we go with the Fireball. The Royal Ghost should connect here. Boom. We nailed that. On to the, go to the tower, please, sir. Turn around, man. Oh my gosh. He just wasted a lot of time. A lot of time. Let's go to the pack in the back. Let's do it. Boom. Pack is down in the back. We're playing this one well, guys. We're coming back big time here. Let's go to the Electro Wizard here. We're going to slow this bad boy down. And then we're going to go with the Bandit here just to help us out. He's going with the Pekka of his own. And you want to know why that's good? That's very good. We can go with our Magic Archer any moment now. Any moment. Let's go. He just, was, he just went with the Fireball. So now we literally went off of the Magic Archer, I think. I think we just... Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go, Pekka. Take that out. Beautiful. Beautiful. We take this one home, dude. All we gotta do is play some defense, guys. We got double Pekka at the bridge. Okay, we do need an Electro Wizard, though. Oh, shoot. Let's just zap. Actually, there's only five seconds left. Why don't we just zap that? You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the EUAs. That's a good game. And Pekka Bridge Spam. This version of it. It's so good. It's the classic. It is what you want to use. If you're a Pekka Bridge Spam player, max this version out first. It's really good, guys. Once you get good with this one, then you can start experimenting with other variations. But this is the core Pekka Bridge Spam, in my opinion. This one's so fun to play. As you saw there, once we got a good cycle down and we could take out that Ram Rider, we had absolutely no problem dealing with his deck. It has everything you need. Outsmart your opponents and you will legitimately win games based off of it. And that's why this deck is so successful. The fifth and final deck of the day is a Lava Hound balloon deck with the guards. Now, this one's really interesting, right? The tombstone buff, obviously, we got to be using that tombstone. It has Zap and Fireball, and it has no Miner in it, which a lot of people are surprised by, but this one's a little bit more focused on defense and then aggression. Even still, though, you do want to, obviously, tower trade when possible. This deck is absolutely nuts, though, and let's get into our final match. We're in here, guys, and a decent first play is... Lava Hound, baby. Let's go. Lava Hound in the back. We're going against Dura. Let's see what he's got going on here. Um, if he really if he really does pressure, we can go with a bunch of stuff. Let's go with the guards, guys. He's going in. He's going in. We gotta we gotta defend a little bit here. Basically, the guards are gonna ensure that we don't lose our whole tower. And if he's a pressuring us like this, I think he might us he might not have the best of uh, answers here on defense. We see a bomb tower, which is no good answer, guys. We're gonna go ahead and fireball this magic archer as well. We're gonna toss this fireball right here. The uh, guards actually doing a really good job there on defense. We can zap these spear gods so the balloon takes the whole tower. Because guess what, man? The tower was getting distracted by the lava hat. So we take the whole thing down. The balloon gets yet another hit. He says good game, and this might be a very quick match. Lava Hound is very easy to use to a degree here. And you can see, defensively speaking, let's just go with our Tombstone. Let's do it, dude. Let's go. We're going with the guards as well. I mean, Tombstone is so good. It's so good. It soaks up those wall breakers. The knight's distracted. He is going to have a very rough time now. The reason why he went in there is because... He thought that we were going to go with the Lava Hound instantly. We're just going to laugh. We're going to take out the 3 crown. He's upset. Doesn't matter to me, right? We're just going to crush. We get a nice little hit there, though, with the guard. Let's go with the Lava Hound in the back now. Now that we know his Magic Archer is, like, one of the only things in cycle, and what's so awesome about this is he's using his air counters, right? We can easily fireball the Magic Archer. We can let those go, because even if we lose that tower, which I don't know if we will, um... We, we might, but even if we lose that tower, we have answers, and we can literally take this tower right over here, because he has nothing, guys. He has straight up nothing. And we didn't even lose our tower. We're chilling. We are more than chilling here. Um, so there's the uh, Magic Archer. The balloon's getting tanked for, unfortunately. Um, the, or sorry, the balloon's getting hit up a little bit. But we still should almost take this thing. I mean, the Magic Archer's distracted. The Lava Hound is crushing. We're doing so much damage, dude. This is great. This is great. Let's go with the uh, Tombstone here. He was able to defend it, so congratulations to him. Let's go with the split up Skeleton Dragons. So no matter where they push, the Skeleton Dragons are coming in. Let's go ahead and just let this uh, Bombers go. Let's go with the Zap. Boom! We crushed with that Zap spell. Let's go in, though, with the Balloon, with the Guards. Let's go on, Guards. Go on here. Um, we see the Knight. He's going to need to Bomb Tower this, but it doesn't look like he can get it down. All we need is that Bomb Damage. It doesn't matter if it gets a hit or not. I don't think we got it, to be honest with you. I don't think we got it. That's all good, though. Let's go ahead and just go with the Lava Hound. Let's just go with the Tombstone. There is nothing he can do. Let's just... He tried the Prediction Log us. That's funny. All right, let's go with the Fireball here. Really good Fireball, guys. That Lava Hound is going to destroy this man's tower. We're going to get the two-crown win, luckily for us. And we will take this man down. Good game, sir. Thank you for playing. We're not even giving him... We're not even giving him a crown, guys. He tried to tornado it, and it didn't work. And that is going to be game over, guys. These decks are nuts. The only time we lost today in today's video was the absolute hard counter with Mega Knight Bait, which was unfortunate. It happens. You got to understand that. And that is all good. So as you see here, we end up going 4-1. and one. 
absolutely beautiful. And I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video, right? So this deck you saw there, the Lava Hound, the Zap, the Fireball, it's all going to be awesome. And the support on this deck is absolutely crazy, right? You have the Skeleton Dragons on defense, which are very good. And right there, we didn't even need a whole lot of defense. The Tombstone really cleaned up by itself. But all five of these decks will be linked down below in the description if you want to try them out. Definitely make sure to do so. And I hope you enjoyed. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic day. Master Diddy-san, out.